Yeah. Hello, YouTube. What are we doing today, James? We're putting this up there. Yeah? What is it? What do we call that thing? Uh. Is it a winch? Winch. Yeah. And that's the thing. Yeah, for 100 bucks, you can buy a 400-pound capacity electric, electric hoist. Yeah. It comes with exactly four things. It comes yeah. with the winch, which has a remote. What does the remote make it do? Does it go sideways? Down. It goes down yeah. and up. Okay. It doesn't go sideways. You just plug it in it and use the remote, right? It just goes down. Dump it. Right. And what? Is, and do we know what this is called? Winch. Well, this is the winch. This oh. is called a snatch block. Yeah. Yeah. Go Not to. Yep. Like that. Yep. And that doubles the power of the winch. Yeah. And then it comes with these two brackets, which allows the winch to slide along a pole, yeah. or in this case, and it comes with these. Yep. Yeah. Or in this case, to pivot. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this winch up in the ceiling of the garage. And I'll show you how to do that. If you don't want to go through all the extra effort of the pipe so that it can pivot for pulling things over and then lifting, if you just want to do a deadlift straight up, you can just hard mount it like that and save yourself some money. All you have to do is go to the hardware store and get four metric, I think it's eight millimeter by 1.25 millimeter thread pitch. Get them about... I think 50 millimeters long, it's about two inches. And do the same kind of relief Forstner bit cut on the back side of the wood so that the wood can sit flush to the ceiling. What we're gonna do here is we're going to assemble all these pieces to make a bracket that the winch can swivel back and forth on. It's the it's an improvement in my opinion to the hard mount version I've been using for five or six years. The box comes with brackets that are intended to hang off a piece of metal so why not use them what I have here is an inch and a quarter flange to an inch and a quarter it's called a close to an elbow that's an inch and a quarter here and an inch and a half here and then an inch and a half pipe and then the same going back down the reason that I changed sizes is that I wanted to save money um, to be quite frank by going down a size to this, which is more than strong, in my opinion, probably saved me about 15 bucks. But I need an inch and a half pipe because that's the size that I determined I need for the supply bracket with, that the winch comes with. Before I can twist all this together, the first thing I have to do is drill these holes out. What I'm going to do is I bought some um, 5 16 inch bolts that are 2 inches long. These holes are a quarter inch ish what they look like. I don't think a quarter inch bolt's strong enough. So I just went up a size. So I'm just going to drill these holes out before I assemble it. And understand too that pipe threads are unique in that they're tapered. So that the more you screw a pipe thread in, the tighter it gets. So the first thing I'm going to do is drill these holes out to a little bit bigger than 5 16 I found when you're going from metal to wood, you need a little bit of wiggle room because the drill tends to walk around a little bit on the wood. So um, I'll drill these holes 3 eighths and drill the holes in the wood 3 eighths. So you're going to have this sitting underneath. You're going to have a washer on it. You're going to have the wood. And you're going to have the plate. And you're going to have another washer. And then I bought um, these nylon nuts. They're often referred to as lock nuts or vibration proof nuts, whatever you want to call it. All they are is they have a little extra lip here that has a piece of nylon in it that makes it pretty much impossible to vibrate free. So entering one, anyone wondering what this is, it's called a pipe vise. I got it many years ago at a garage sale for I think around five bucks because it was all rusty. The way it works is it 
pivots open, you put your pipe in there, and you shut it, this locks, and then you can vice it. And these are just pipe clamps. I've done this before with quick clamps. No, don't do that. They don't hold. This is what I came up with. I did a couple of measurements and this is the center of the hoist, the, the winch spool. So I want that on the center line between the studs, which is here. Then I set the pipe on top and centered the pipe, did a little bit of math, and I came up with 32 inch board. So you can see on this end it's going to run a little past the stud more than this one. Usually when I do this I run two inches past the stud to, to leave plenty of wood to screw through. So the whole thing will be offset slightly to the right. That should equally load the, the two ceiling rafters. I think that'll be better. So now that we have the pipe built, you can kind of see how it attaches to the winch. The winch comes with these two brackets and the bolts to hold it to the winch. Those go around like that. This bar will allow the winch to pivot left and right. And you'll see why that's important later. You could, with two people and four hands, lift this over your head, hold it against the ceiling, and attach it, and then lift the winch up. To me, that's sketchy. And I've done plenty of sketchy things. In my opinion, there's a better way. With some scrap wood, I built this years ago for my first winch. And so what I'm going to do is attach this temporarily, put an extension on this, and I'm going to use a car jack to just pin it against the ceiling. Hey, if you're having fun, you're having fun. Okay, so I'm going to pick up my pilot drill bit. I think this is going to be it. I just hold it. And what you're trying to do is drill out most of the wood from the center of the shaft, but leave wood for these threads to bite into. So.
I'd just like to show you the system I've come up with for mounting. That's the hook from the snatch block that the winch came with. I didn't like the snatch block, so I went and bought a better one. So this is what I found to do is I run the rope up through there and then through a couple holes. It allows me to change the height if I don't like it later on. And I just wrap a rope around it. There's one zip tie up there holding it to the power cord. It gives you a nice reliable hook. I've tried everything, bungee cords, whatever, this, that, the other, but the bottom line is that I found it the most useful to be able to stand as far away from what I'm lifting as possible sometimes if it's big. But it's nice to be able to stand off to the side and lift things sometimes. This would be great for a helping hand. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned until next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and tell all your friends. Bye-bye.